to yet another episode, episode three of Fresh Web Dev, your look at uh, CSS, JavaScript, and other web design and development tools that you can use for your website. My name's Dan. And my name's Scott. And today, it's hammer time. It's hammer time. That's right. <laughs> Specifically, we're talking about <laughs> hammer.js, a JavaScript library by 8media out of the Netherlands. Yeah. And what this basically is, is it's a multi-touch interface for your website. Um, so especially apparent on like a mobile website or even a responsive website, yes. um, a really, really great tool to use um, to get gestures like touch, you know, um, you know, tapping, swiping, and zooming or any sort of features like that. Um, Scott, I don't know if you want to talk about, about the implementation. Yep, we can do that. So Hammer.js comes as either a standalone library or a jQuery library. So those of you that are familiar with jQuery, uh, you can implement it into your site uh, and use jQuery functionality rather than just the standalone functionality. Um, it's really easy to implement. The script itself is actually only two kilobytes when it's minified. So uh, it's, it's very little load time. Um, tiny, you know. tiny. Yep, no overhead. <laughs> um, it, it's a focused JavaScript library. It's only for touch and multi-touch mm -hmm. gestures. Um, and what you can do uh, is you can attach it to any element on your website, pretty much. So you can, you know, say, for instance, your logo. If somebody swipes on that, it changes to a different, you know, version cool. of that. Or, uh, you know, pages in WordPress want to swipe, switch to pages. Go ahead and do that. I, yeah, so. I'm really shocked to see that there isn't more of this implementation out there these days. I guess maybe it's because because it comes more in the form of apps that developers put out for these devices, for your Androids, for your iPhones. Um, that that sort of gives it that ability and that implementation. But I really wish that more websites had think, had features like this built in. Yeah, I do as well because uh, I feel that we're moving that way. We're moving towards apps, Absolutely. and uh, as you, more and more users become familiar with the gestures, right. you can literally turn your website into, we'll call it an app, because right. Uh, right. it and has all the functionality a lot of that. A lot of places now are designing responsive um, websites. I know our, our uh, studio here does, the, uh, does our minimize theme, which yes. is for WordPress is a very responsive app. So basically what that does is takes your website and puts it down into a mobile device size so that it's kind of formatted for there. What a perfect complement to that than a multi-touch gesture. Oh, yes, um, definitely. On that note, as far as devices... Uh, do you want to talk a little bit about maybe, or I'll talk about the compatibility on some yeah. of the devices here? Yeah. We can so in, in your research, actually, um, we, were, we were seeing that uh, any sort of Android devices that you'd have would support at this point, yep. um, any iOS, iPhone, iPad, um, actually major tablets like uh, Kindle Fire was one of the ones that was named, yeah. actually supports all, all the feat functionality of this, which is great. Yep. Um, desktop computers, whether it be Windows, Mac OS, uh, support all the functionality except for the transform functionality, which is sort of like that pinching gesture. So yeah, so you can't zoom or, or something like that right? in, in and, those cases. And we were talking before the recording here, and you were saying that you thought that was more a function of the fact that it uses the mouse as sort of a clicking tool yes. when you switch over to a desktop yes. or, or a computer. Yeah, that whereas feature. your fingers would be the clicking tool or the pointer on right. a mobile device, you have you know just the one pointer on your computer. Sure. The only uh, notable exception to this is um, Windows phones only support tapping, uh, yeah. the, the tapping gesture. So a tap or a double tap. And that that's it. <laughs> uh, we have the swipe gestures as well, things like that. You brought that up a little earlier. Yeah, you can actually also hold down on an element. Um, and this actually brings me to a good point. So you can actually set specific options for this plugin, oh, cool. which is really cool. So you can say on this particular element, I want the user to have to hold down for half of a second, and then something is going to happen. So this library supports that functionality, functionality. as well. Uh, you can also set the swipe time, so how fast the users need to swipe uh, in order for the functionality to uh, occur. That is so cool. Yeah, it's pretty neat. Um, and then you can also, for instance, set an element to only respond to the tap. So if you sure. want just a single tap on this particular element on your page, user taps on it, it works. If they double tap, nothing happens, but that would be... Of course, it's uh, customizable up to your liking. So <laughs> This library is almost ahead of its time in a sense because I don't even see most apps using a hold functionality, which is a really great thing. I know I'll be driving. Well, I'm not supposed to be using my phone driving, but <laughs> you know, or, or just standing there with my phone in my hand, and I actually, might accidentally tap on something. Having that hold feature would alleviate that problem. Yes. Um, yeah. And you don't really see a lot of that 
you know, speed swipe gesture thing either, which I think would also be really, really great implementation in many websites. Yeah, and I, I think another good uh, use for it might be like a hidden Easter egg uh, yeah, type yeah, of uh, event. You know, if somebody's just sitting there, they're on their mobile device and they're so used to swiping, you know, across the screen to get to the next page, uh, all of a sudden it, it does bring you to the next page and you're like, wow, okay, I didn't know about that. Um, another cool thing that uh, talking back to the minimize theme yeah, and yeah, WordPress. Sure. Uh, there's actually a tutorial that will feature in the yeah. video description. We'll put it right there. Yeah, yeah. right down there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's written by um, a guy named Vinny Singh, and it's on the Toots Plus network, uh, which is a network full of tutorials and great resources. If you ever want to check that out, definitely awesome. head on over there. This is specific to WordPress, and he talks about implementing it in your WordPress site. Right. So this could definitely be adapted to our minimize theme right. and any other theme right. for that. That right. instance, so. The easiest multi-touch plugin for the easiest CMS. Yeah. Sounds good to me. Sounds like a match Go made in Go hand in hand. <laughs> yeah. More gestures. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Well, thank you, Scott, once again, for being on the show today. Thank you, Dan. Uh, if you guys want more of this compelling content, you can actually go to our website, slocumstudio.com slash blog, where we post weekly updates to our website. You can also subscribe at slocumstudio.com slash subscribe, as well as subscribe to our uh, YouTube page, Slocum Studio. Thanks a lot, guys. Thank you, guys.